Harrison Painter here, your Chief AI Officer. And today I got a really cool piece of technology to share with you that I just stumbled on when I was doing research. Now, this is from 2023, I think October of 2023. And the technology, of course, isn't there yet. But I wanted to share it with you to get you thinking about the future, what it looks like, why AI is important, and how it can save lives. It can truly save lives. So I learned that over 130 people per year die from really, really high falls in the construction industry. And think of those high wind turbines or cell towers or skyscrapers for that matter. And, and when you think about how many people actually work in those very high risk scenarios, 130 people, I would assume is a pretty high number for the industry, even though they have all kinds of safety things there. But there is the Italian Institute of Technology and INAIL. They have been working on something called the Falls from Above Project. And they are really focused on reducing this number of 130 and to get it hopefully as close to zero as possible. And this is something near and dear to my heart because there's something I see in the future for this technology as well. And I'll explain that in a moment. But check out this quick video just so you fully understand what I'm talking about. 130 lives are lost annually due to falls from heights in the construction industry. To combat this, the Italian Institute of Technology and INAIL have pioneered the Falls From Above project. This project's heartbeat, cutting edge technology aiming to drastically decrease these unfortunate accidents. At its forefront are wearable devices like exoskeletons and airbags, rigorously evaluated for their protective potential. How cool is that? So the way that, it, now it's still a concept as far as I understand, I know this video was from 2023, but you can see how valuable a technology like this could be. From what I can tell, they are going to be training people in a virtual environment, so VR, They'll put them in these dangerous situations, and they'll, but they'll be safe in a virtual environment and be trained and learn and understand how this will be deployed and how they need to act and whatever that is to get to safety. Now, AI is used because that's what's actually going to trigger the mechanism. So AI will be used to say, hey, this is a fall is happening and we need to deploy. So that's pretty cool. The reason why this struck a chord with me is my daughter is a professional skydiver and she's been in some pretty dangerous scenarios. Last year, she was involved in a skydiving accident and broke her leg. It could have been much worse, but thankfully the good Lord was with her. And then just this year, and I'm going to share a video right now, she had to cut away from her main chute and go to her uh, emergency shoot. Let, let me share that video with you to show you how harrowing this really is. Now, as a dad, that's very hard for me to watch, and I get very emotional when I see it, but she did an amazing job. She did everything by the book. If you'll notice on the right side, the chute kind of folded over, and it didn't fully deploy, and that's why she had to cut away. And then the minute she cut away, she's free-falling again before that emergency chute comes out. So like I said, as a dad, that it's very hard for me to, to watch that, even though she did everything perfectly. But these kind of scenarios happen a lot and they train constantly just for these scenarios. And thankfully, everything just kicked in for her and it saved her life. But now what if the emergency shoot, if something went wrong with that? That's where I see this technology coming in is now another option, whereas if that one doesn't deploy, now this drone would get them drone backpack or extra, however that would work. Uh, because, you know, the technology will get smaller and thinner and better as all of this moves forward. So anyway, that is all I've got for you today. My name is Harrison Painter, your chief AI officer. I'm still getting a little emotional about that. Uh, and until next time, 
Keep innovating. Keep creating. God bless you.